Hi guys, welcome to my channel Amy Howard Art. I'm Amy and today's art advice video is art on a budget or more specifically coloured pencils on a budget. Now a lot of people think that you need really expensive pencils and you need a lot of them to be able to produce really realistic and really great works of art. And recently I've been working on a three colour challenge, you may have seen it in some of the live streams which I've been doing, and I worked with three coloured pencils and the portrait that I was able to produce actually came out really well. So I thought this would be a really good subject to talk to you guys about. So you guys are going to be watching a time lapse version of that three colour challenge and I'm going to explain to you exactly why you don't need a lot of art supplies to make good art. So I really want this video to just sort of explain to you guys that you don't necessarily need all of the fandangled really expensive equipment, you don't need all of these different brands and all of these different art materials under your belt to enable you to create really good artwork. And I think that that's what a lot of people think, that they do need all of the pencils, they need a full set and all of that kind of thing before they can actually go into creating any work. And I think that this puts off a lot of beginner artists because a lot of you guys don't actually have the budget or the extra finances to go and spend on a whole load of art materials. And it really puts a lot of people off creating because they think that they're not going to be prepared and they're not going to have everything that they need to achieve the results that they want with their artwork. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do this three colour challenge because I wanted to sort of challenge myself just by using three core coloured pencils and a white pencils and just kind of see what I could achieve and just see if it was possible to be able to achieve realism and what I kind of thought that I could achieve. And I was really surprised by the outcome of this. If you watched my live streams of this, you will know that in the beginning, I was terrified of going into this with just three colors because I thought that I needed a whole load more materials and a whole load more colors to be able to get some kind of realism and to just kind of get anything that was relatively good. And at the very beginning, I was really apprehensive and I was just going to kind of cancel the challenge and just work on something and use a whole bunch of colours. But I forced myself, mainly because it was live, I forced myself to actually go through with the challenge and as I was working through it, I actually realised I don't need all of those colours to be able to get something really realistic and really good looking. And I had to sort of remind myself as I was going through the live stream, the real fundamentals of realism artwork. And realism isn't about having all of the coloured pencils and all of the colours exactly correct. Realism is about the contrasts and the highlights and getting those in and that's what's really important. Now only having three colours I had to make sure that I kept this in mind and as I was going through the cat eye study I made sure that I told myself that I need to make sure that I keep the darks dark and the lights light and even though I had this limited palette I managed to achieve that. So this three colour challenge I actually used four coloured pencils and it cost me a total of five of my Great British Pounds. And as you go through this time lapse, you will see that I've actually managed to create something realistic looking and it actually turned out really good. And it just goes to show that you don't need a huge budget, you don't need all of those pencils to be able to create something. You can create something from just three or four coloured pencils. Now if you are working with art on a budget and you only have that budget for just a few colours or just a few pencils, I would really recommend just getting the core colours. So getting a red, a blue, a yellow, a cyan, a magenta, those really core colours that are going to enable you to mix and create further colours. And if you are working with that budget, it is really essential that you really acquaint yourselves with your materials and you work out colour mixing ratios, everything that you can kind of create with those materials. So in terms of coloured pencils, if you just went for the three primary colours, really spend some time and work out what kind of colour combinations you can actually create with those pencils. So it might seem like a little bit of a chore and you just want to get stuck into your materials, 
but if you really spend that time to really look at mixing ratios, look at the kind of marks and everything that you can create from those pencils and it's really going to help you understand what you can create with those supplies. So if you're wanting to go for something realistic like the cat eye which I've drawn here, really work with your materials, work with the pressures, different strokes, different marks that you can make with your pencils and just see what you can come up with in order to create something realistic. So really test the pressures of the pencils, put down hard pressure, use light pressure, use some cross hatching, use some scrumbling, those really tiny circles. Just create all of these different types of marks and all of these different tones and pressures and everything and really identify yourself with your pencils and really get to know them so that you can go into a piece of artwork and you know what these pencils and what these materials can actually do so you can create a really fantastic piece of art. So I always advise people when they're very first starting out, especially with coloured pencils, to buy the best quality materials that they can afford. So buy a 12 or 24 set of pencils or even a few open stock pencils in the colours that they think they're going to need. And again, if you are starting out on a budget, you might think that this is really limiting as to what you can create just by buying a 12 or 24 set. But as I'm showing you here, you don't necessarily need a 12 set of pencils or even a 24 set of pencils. You don't even need three pencils to create a really good piece of art. You can just use the one and you can create something really outstanding as long as you know the limits and the capabilities of that material or that pencil that you're using. So the moral here behind this video, as you know from the title and everything, is art on a budget and I just really wanted to convey that to you guys so that you don't need a huge budget to be able to create a really good piece of art. So as we come to the end of the time lapse here, I'd really love to know what you guys actually think of this piece and what you think of the final outcome by just using these four coloured pencils. I personally think that this is a great piece and even though I was working with some really unusual pencils, I used the orange, the blue and the purple, even though I was using some really obscure colours, I think that I've managed to achieve a really good level of realism and I think you can kind of look past the fact that it is really unusual coloured and I don't really pay attention to the fact that it's a blue cat with these really vibrant orange eyes. I kind of look past that and I would really love to know what you guys actually think of this piece and and if you think that you really can do art on a budget because I think that it is entirely possible. You really don't need a high budget and you really don't need all of the complete sets of pencils and everything to in order to create really good art. So what do you guys think? I would really love to hear your thoughts on this. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope that this has helped some of you that are thinking that you need really expensive and an abundance of supplies to create good art. I hope that this has helped you kind of realise that you don't necessarily need a whole lot of pencils and a whole lot of art supplies to be able to produce something really brilliant. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you've liked it, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new around here and you like this advice and you want to see more along with art, tutorials and art live streams then make sure that you hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon to receive notifications of all of my future videos and I have left some videos which I think you're going to love just over there and I will see you in my next video. Bye!